Hey, all right, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 117. Pull numbers greater than 500,000 to a new range with a formula. All right, our question today sent in by Dandy. Is there a formula that pull values over 500,000 to a new range? Oh my gosh, all right. I can't wait to see Mike's array formula. Now, this is just like last week. I'm going to switch over to VBA and we create this new function. But this function is going to return an array. Isn't that cool? So we're going to pass two things. We're going to pass my range and then a limit. So that way it doesn't have to be 500,000. We can pass that over. And I uh, I'm going to store the results in this uh, temporary array called get over values. I dimension that, but I don't know how big it's going to be. So I have to figure out from my range dot rows dot count how many rows, how many columns. So I multiply those together and then redim this temporary array from one to new size. That way I have enough spaces. Like if they ask for everything over zero, well, they'd all be there. And I want to have enough, uh, enough space to hold all of those. And then uh, three lines of code here for i equals 1 to new size, uh, initialize that position of the array with quote, quote, next i. I bet there's a faster way to do this, um, but uh, yeah, if anyone knows, just shoot me a note uh, in the YouTube comments. It must be one line that we could do that. Counter is equal to 0. Then uh, for each, look at everything in my range. If this cell value is greater than the limit, increment the counter by 1 get over values our temporary array is equal cell dot value and if next cell so that builds the link the the list of uh, things over 500,000 and then the thing that drove me absolutely nuts is it kept returning the answers going across right so if i created the array formula here it worked but creating the array formula here it did not work i had to wrap that in transpose and i got an idea from chip pearson uh, that i could actually put application dot worksheet function transpose right here in the UDF. So, two shouts, uh, Chip Pearson, Excel MVP, and also Bill Manville, Excel MVP, found great posts from both of them that helped me to build this function here. Uh, now, let's try it out. We'll go back. We'll do, I have to select a range that's large enough to hold enough values. Uh, so, equal get over, and here's my range of input cells, comma, the limit is 500,000. Now, I can't just press enter. This is an array formula. It's going to return an array. So I hold down control and shift and press enter. And there we go. It worked out perfectly. Um, did I have to specify this many cells? No, I didn't. But you got to be careful. If you don't specify enough cells, then it's just like uh, all other Excel array formulas. They just truncate those results. Uh, so if you don't specify enough, it's going to give you the first results. Uh, but then you lose the others. So make sure that you choose a large enough range. In my case, I chose uh, enough to, uh, in case every single item was a match. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Man, I love that VBA. One of these days, I got to catch up to you and learn some VBA. So of course, I'm stuck with the formula. Now, I don't think I need an array formula here. Um, I'm going to set up the hurdle in a cell and I'm going to count. So I'm going to use the count if function. Actually, escape, escape. I'm going to name this range. I'm going to highlight field name at the top, data below, and use control shift F3. That creates names from selection. It's going to use the top row. And now that range right there, boom, is named sales. Equals count if. S tab and then comma and I'm going to put the comparative operator in double quotes greater than and then join it with the ampersand with our hurdle control enter so it looks like there's six all right now no array formula I think I can just use a sorting formulas now sorting formulas for numbers are pretty straightforward any other type of data those are brutal formulas so I'm going to just use the large Oops, if only I could type <laughs> large function. Highlight the whole array, S tab, and then comma. I'm going to use a number incrementer inside the formulas because I want to extract as I copy down that K. I want the first largest, second largest, third largest. So I'll just use rows. 
rows. I'm sitting in C7, so I'm going to type C dollar sign 7 colon C7. Notice rows counts how many rows there are. So 7 to 7, there's one row. Because that's locked and that's not, as we go down, it will increment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So Control Enter. And I'm just going to copy this down. Whoops, I have speak cells on enter. Now notice when I come down here, that expandable range, oh, so nice, that rows gives us number four. Now I need to just turn this off. Now I'm going to use if, and then I'm going to use that same number incrementer. If only I could type fast. I can't, so I'm going to cheat and copy and paste Control V. Anytime that is greater than. That means the count of rows is greater than that one right there, F4. Then what do I want? Comma. That's the logical test. It comes out true, false, comma. Then what do I want? A null text string, double quote, double quote. That will show nothing. That's the value of false. Value of true, I mean. Value of false, that will be our sorting uh, numbers formula. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. All right, so now if I change this to 25,000 or 90,000. Oh, wait a second. We don't have any 90,000, so I'll say 50,000. 55. If only I could type. All righty. I'll throw it back to Mr. Excel. Ah, Mike, excellent. What an amazing trick just using equal large. It even sorts the array, uh, which mine didn't do. Definitely point to you. Why did I have to go through that whole UDF? Beautiful solution. Hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.